Hi, I want to show you my current project and what it is is a, a business card, a presentation card and it will have my name, and my phone number, electronic designer and all that uh, things but the, the card itself will be a printed circuit board with some circuits and it will have a micro USB connector and a flash memory and a temperature sensor and some LEDs and when you pl plug the car on the computer a massive storage device will appear and you will open it and you will see uh, my resume and a link to one of my videos in my video blog presenting myself so it is a some kind of uh, presentation card for, for applying for some job or, or, or something like that and of course the, the printed circuit board will have the, the usual shape and, and size of a regular card like this one and you will be able to see the, the microcontroller over the PCB, the capacitors, resistors, the, the LEDs and as you can see behind me, I have a prototype version in Altium Designer and I'm going to show you uh, what this board is going to do and how I, I'm going to design it and this is supposed to be a, a multiple uh, entries I'm going to do many entries about this project because it, it, this is not the, the, the final design it is just a, a quick test, the components over the PCB uh, doesn't ha doesn't uh, are the real ones. I have the real ones here in this uh, in this uh, in this mail or whatever. <laughs> I have the originals, uh, the the real ones here, and I have to to see if the footprints matches with my designs and all that kind of uh, things. So in this video blog, I will show you what I want to do with my my smart card and how I want to accomplish those things and I already went through the stage in which I have to choose the components so I, I already done that and I'm just mm, uh, connecting all everything together and making sure that the footprints and the components uh, matches the, the reality and all that and I'm going to show you some renders in my computer, so <laughs> let's have a quick. Okay, so this is a render of the of my project, and it's not uh, fully. It's just a render. It's not the the final version. I have to to change a lot of things, and this is the schematic for for this project. And as you can see, here's the USB connector, the micro USB connector. Uh, 3.3 volt uh, regulator, voltage regulator, uh, the temperature sensor. This is a SOT23 uh, package, um, mm, temperature sensor. And uh, I'm going to have a, a RGB, a red, green, blue uh, LED in this board. And four LEDs, four, si uh, mm, four LEDs for uh, showing uh, for uh, and four LEDs, four LEDs for displaying the temperature, and I will have uh, so here we have the the memory, the flash memory, and the in circuit serial programming interface uh, through which I'm going to program the the peak microcontroller, and I I wanted to. To do all this with uh, five volt uh, power supplies, but because this uh, flash memory works with 3.3 volts, I had to to put this regulator, and then I had to use the the L version of this microcontroller. L stands for low voltage. It's not the peak 18F. It's the LF, the low voltage version. And this one has a built-in um, USB controller, and because it's the low voltage version, uh, this integrated circuit doesn't in, doesn't have the the voltage. Whoops, the voltage regulator here, the 
3 volts uh, regulator and because of that I can say one capacitor that should be, should be here in the in the F version but because this is the LF version I don't have to put that capacitor here and that is pretty much everything the circuit is very simple and the way I'm going to uh, display the temperature to the user is um, you will have a uh, well, well you will have some instructions in the back of this PCB and you will have some standard number let's say 20 and the uh, RGB the red green blue uh, LED will show you if you have to subtract or add or do nothing with that quantity and these four LEDs will display you a uh, uh, four digits a uh, four bits um, number so if you have um, let's say hey, what's that okay so if you have let's say six here in binary and here you see it red a uh, red uh, color then you will have to subtract 20 minus 6 and that will give you the temperature that is uh, being measured by this uh, sensor so it's a uh, some kind of color coded uh, temperature measurement it gives you the the temperature with some uh, color code and as I, as I say, this is not the actual model for the red, green, blue LED. It's just some th something temporal that I put there for for doing a quick view of the of the PCB. And this PCB will be four point uh, sorry uh, zero point four millimeters thick, and it will have a electro, electro, uh, electroless nickel immersion gold so all these uh, yellow things will be actually gold gold plated contact the solder mask will be black as you can see and it looks very very sexy and this is the actual real connector that i bought let me show you this is the connector the USB connector that I bought through Farnell and as you can see here it says 3D model so you can download that 3D model uh, and use it in your in your PCB and that is what I have done and as you can see I can see I can see how this will fit because it is a, a mid-mount USB connector as you can see it's in the middle of the PCB and it needs a slot to fit in, to fit here and I can see how it, it is going to work before even I build the, the PCB and I'm going to send this PCB to ITAD Studio don't know if you if you know their web, their web page uh, it has to yeah. okay so I'm going to use this service two layer color PCB 10 by 10 centimeters maximum maximum and PCB thickness 0.4 millimeter. I don't know if I'm going to use 0.4 or 0.6. It costs you some extra money. Surface finish any electroless nickel immer immersion gold and 100% ETS that is free and PCB color black. Uh, no, and it will cost in between that and that and they provide you with uh, 10, 10 PCBs and the PCB should, should look like this one that I have here should look exactly the same and that is pretty much as I say this is just a this, this model is not exactly because for example this is not a through hole oscillator it is a SMD oscillator but 
uh, I'm using that because I, I wanted to have the schematic and and to have a, a quick look at this and, and I did it this way the the USB is actually the, the good one that I'm going to use and this one too, this one too, this one too the, the LEDs are not those LEDs are not the ones that I'm going to use and and the in circuit serial programming interface is not the one that I'm going to use because I don't want to have that uh, holes and I just want to have some flat path to, to program this board with the PIC kit 3 and this hole here I think I'm going to put two holes here for some kind of necklace you can uh, take your board and well uh, I wanted to use this as a neck leg, like an, an identification card uh, or something like that. And this is not, uh, this is just, uh, I, I think, 50% 50, 50 uh, finished. It's, it's, it's work in progress. It's everything work in progress. Um, I, I didn't even uh, fully complete the schematic, but I ordered, ordered the bats, the, sorry, I ordered the, the, the components. I have the components here with me because I think that I'm not I'm not going to need anything else. I think um, that I have everything I need. Um, as I said, uh, I have to add my phone number, my web page. I think that I'm I'm going to even add some QR code for you know those uh, those codes that you can use with your mobile phone take a picture and it is a link to some some page or something like that and in the back in the back of this PCB I will have some instructions about how to use it how to connect it to a computer and how to read the temperature and uh, there are some code some revision board uh, thing some date and and all that kind of things and this is pretty much my project for now I think in some point the next week I will um, send this this for manufacturing I didn't do the, the layout and I have to to decide how to place the components and and everything else so I, I will do um, two or three versions of this board and then I will decide um, which one I like and then I will choose that one, I will do the layout for that one and, and, and I will send that one for manufacturing and um, I'm going to do some uh, other video vlogs about this project because um, I think that it will be nice to have a, like a, a three or four uh, videos for this project. Uh, this is the first one, the introduction, uh, what I want to do and how I'm how I am doing it and and all that kind of stuff. The next one will be about uh, the layout of this board and maybe the third one will be sending the files for manufacturing and the fourth one will be re receiving the, the the PCBs, the printed circuit boards manufactured and doing the, the programming stuff and all that. So this is my project and if you like it please uh, give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and give me your opinion in the comments and all that thing so thank you very much for watching see ya